Here with the DJI FPV drone. I've had it for about a week now and I just thought I'd make a little video of what I think of it. Yeah, I think it's better than I thought it would be. I was thinking of how I could strengthen the arms. They're plastic, they're not carbon. I could wrap it with some carbon. But um, might lose some signal in the antennas. I like the goggles. I've been using my phone in Samsung goggles for years with Litchi and flying VR. But these are possibly brighter, a bit bigger, bigger screen. And you can adjust all the settings in the goggles. It's like a phone with this toggle switch here. You just got to learn how everything works. As little things like the, the gimbal, you see I've adjusted it so it it stays where you put it. It's not like the traditional springs back to the center. You do that with the screws at the back. So you've got to read the manual and it's 67 pages. Putting the drone into manual mode isn't simple. You know, you've got to go to into settings and then you've got to go over to the switch and you make the switch go into manual. About five inside settings settings you go to, and then that's only half the manual. If you want to go full manual, you've got to go into altitude limit, which is in another setting. I've saved it in my phone, taken a screenshot of what you've got to do because I forget it. That's quite complicated on its own. And then if you want better signal, you can FCC it. I won't say the word, but there's a little file you put on, this, on the SIM card. So I've not updated it or anything. I've, I've just I got there in the end. The SIM card wasn't fast enough in the drone. There's two SIM cards. There's one in the drone and the one that goes in the goggles. I'm going to stop calling them drones. I'm going to call it a quadcopter. Quad. But yeah, it's... For, for what it costs me, I got it secondhand on Amazon for 685 euros. So I've got the, gog the goggles and the controller would have cost that. The battery for the goggles could be a bit longer. It's a smart battery. See, so it lasts a few flights. And then we've got the smart battery on here push the button down here see it's a 6s battery i use my prizer to peel off the rubber at the back you go in here but read the instruction manual it's worth it it is it is long though it's 67 pages i went to, to, to look for the, the the parts that interested me first of all putting it into manual mode and and getting the um, the signal better on the goggles. The goggles seems to control everything. It's not like the other FCC things you put in the transmitter with the Mavic Air. What else can I say? Get a lanyard. And I've learnt to pinch. Before I was just using my thumbs, I'm pinching. Oh, and use the simulators. Let's go into the DJI. I think it's called DJI Assistant. DJI Fly app. No, DJI. It's a it's a simulator app, and this is where it shines again.